Hey guys, welcome back to my channel on Let's Chat with DJ. Welcome to another Mommy Monday. I hope everybody's doing good. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about life. <laughs> like I always talk to you guys about just everyday stuff, but I wanted to talk to you guys about something that it's almost like uh, another pandemic, right? Like mom guilting and shaming and us feeling like it doesn't matter what we do and how we do it it's never good enough it's never like there's always more that could have been done our to-do lists are filled with like four pages of things that need to be done and none of it gets done so i want to talk to you guys where do you fall in this like bar right because us as moms we have like a bar in our head that we feel that we need to meet and Sometimes we compare it to like our own mothers, sometimes we compare it to like a women in social media, celebrities, other uh, influencers, like, but where do you as like a person like measure up? Like this is like the bar of like perfection and then this is like laziness or whatever, right? But where's the sweet spot? So my opinion is the sweet spot that when it comes to like being a mom and when it comes to getting things done and being a house manager and a mom and uh, a mom uh, and a wife and all those things, it's having a lot of this, a lot of grace. So the definition that I'm basing my uh, definition of grace is, is the one from the Bible. It's the one from God, right? So he gives us grace and he gives us mercy, which is unmerited favor, right? It's something that we don't deserve. It's his kindness. It's just un unmerited it's just it is because it is we don't have to do anything to get it we just wake up and it's there right so my question to you is we always in the bible it talks about like how we're made in the image of god and we're his children and all those things but it's like are you treating yourself as like the image of god when it comes to grace in your household for you as a mom as a as a wife as like Somebody who has like a thousand things to get done and beat themselves up because they only get like 2% done or 3% or whatever. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're down here and lazy. That just means that you got like 3% of your to-do list done. So it's like if you're created in the image of God, then why is it okay to mom guilt yourself? Why is it okay to like compare yourself? Why is it okay to like belittle yourself or say, you know, I, I should have done this or I should have done that or I'm this or I'm that. The, the way that you talk about that, does that show that you're made in his image? Are you showing you the same grace that he shows you? If not, then I challenge you. I challenge you to seek grace and not perfection to find a happy medium in this bar and if you set the bar very very high for yourself that's great that doesn't mean that if you set a a, a high standard that doesn't mean that okay great i have like 20 things on my to-do list so clearly i'm not lazy there's a difference between being productive and being busy and if being productive for you means that you only do three things that are important a day then that's what productivity looks like to you um, and that's where grace comes in. You have to figure out what are your most important things that you need to do. And like I always like to, to use this example, right? Like you have to feed your family, right? But that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to cook. And they're like, you know, some women's like, oh, well, if I don't cook, nobody's going to cook. Well, people can't survive on like peanut butter sandwiches, tuna sandwiches, crackers, cheese. The point that I'm trying to make is... There's ways to do things what you feel that you need to do. Everything does not need to be done every single day. And everything does not need to be done every day by you. Um, I know that some people feel like, oh my gosh, you know, like I'm a mom, I'm a wife. I have to do all these things to keep my home going. But you can choose which ones are your negotiables and your non-negotiables. And like I said, everything does not need to be done by you. You can delegate or you can postpone it. Um... So, yeah, if you guys need, like, a, a recommendation, because I needed this, like, this is something that this is, I've been working on for a while. I needed a little bit of boost. So, I got this book um, a while back by Emily Lay, which is called Grace and Not Perfection. 
she's like a mom a wife christian she's like a business owner um she's kind of like you know that woman that we all want to be but she talks in her book that it's like hey it's about being grace and not perfect um being being graceful and forgiving yourself and at the end of the day especially in the crazy times that we're living in it's not about how much you get done in that to-do list it's the quality and the memories that you're creating with your loved ones and in this time i aspire to give myself grace if my kid eats crackers and like whatever she found behind the sofa let it be she ate so i will talk to you guys later on another mommy monday i hope you guys are staying blessed and be encouraged in this challenging time um everybody's navigating these uh waters differently and they're doing the best that they can so i talk to you